Simple Fridays. This is something that I'm going to be doing every Friday for the foreseeable future. I'm guessing through the fall and possibly through the winter. Um, but I thought I don't want to add too much stress on myself for um, ex lots of different videos and I thought you know I want to make sure to bring you guys things that you could use and things that you would look forward to so for fall at least I'm going to be bringing you guys um, a fall recipe a week on Fridays so we are going to start off today Beef Guinness Stew with Cheddar Herb Dumplings. Ooh, yum. That sounds so good. Okay, so jump to recipe. Every time I open this and I jump to the recipe, it takes me to like some crazy spot. Okay, here we go. So this serves eight people. Look at that. Oh, yum. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so it says prep time, 15 minutes. Um, cook time, two hours. Perfect. It's 3.15. Um, total time two hours 30 minutes that's doable right and I'm sure that you could probably put this in the crock pot and cook it on low all day I don't see why not um, so we are going to first get all of the ingredients out and then we will um, we will start we will start getting it on the stove all right let's do it all right so we need a quarter pound, a quarter pound of bacon, beef stew meat, we need salt, pepper, celery and carrots, small onion, cloves of garlic, it's in here somewhere, one large russet potato, and also it calls for a turnip, Ugh, what just happened? It calls for a turnip, and I went to Trader Joe's, and they didn't have turnips. So I'm going to do two potatoes. Chicken broth, tomato paste, six ounces of Guinness beer, uh, Worcester, Worcester, bay leaf, thyme. Where are you, thyme? Thyme, thyme, thyme. I guess I don't. That's okay. We're going to leave the time out. I don't have time. Cornstarch. Oh, and mushrooms. I'm not a big mushroom fan. Ernie is. So, hi, Bob. Fresh chopped parsley. Uh, yeah. Parsley. That's it for the stew. Okay, let's start there. I don't want to do the cheddar thingies yet. Let's get this Dutch oven going. And... Let's get to the bacon cut up. Today I'm going to be using my Beef Fonder knife. Beef Fonder was so kind to send me this 11 piece sleek kitchen knife set. Beef Fonder offers guaranteed quality. They are dual certified by the FDA and LFGB. Each blade is expertly crafted from superior quality and high carbon stainless steel, which ensures the blades will retain their ultra sharp edge longer than conventional stainless steel. The specialty design blade and handles feature irregular intricate patterning on the blades that provide superior strength with razor sharp edges. This all-in-one set includes an 8-inch chef knife, 8-inch bread knife, 8-inch slicing knife, a 6.5-inch Japanese santoku knife, a 3.8-inch fish knife, and a 5-inch utility knife, and a 3-inch curved parry knife as well as a 3.6 inch multi-function clip knife. Thank you Be Fonda for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Now let's get back to cooking. Let's go ahead and get the bacon going. Woo, we need the pan. Oh yeah, baby. While that's browning, let's go ahead and season up our stew meat. Now when I 
get my Scooby, but I, these chunks are just too big, so I always like to cut them. This knife works amazing. I'm scared to death of it. So I will be going slow. out. I'm going to take this off of the heat for a minute. All right, let's, I've washed my hands, so let's um, season up the meat. Sorry if that fan is annoying. Carrot, these carrots, oh, oh, that's just parsley on there. Let me rinse them again. Okay, and then I'll just do a couple ribs, celery, you rinse these. I'll use this knife so I don't have to wash that other one. Those knives scare me. They are so sharp, you guys, just so you know. Oh, onion, it's that onion. I'm not gonna do this whole onion because it's really big. All right, let's get the meat in the bacon grease. I just need to brown this. So I'm gonna wait for it. I'm gonna turn up a little bit higher. Okay, we've got sizzling. buying the squeezable one because this is such a waste. Right. Now stir to coat. Look at that. See that? It smells good too. I don't know, 14. So what? Ah, spilling like that. I don't know. That looks like a And then Worcester. I don't know. We'll just add that much. Okay. Do I not add the bacon ever? Two cups of chicken broth. One. Two. Perfect. Alright. Add the beef. Back in. No. Did we not ever add the bacon back in? Is that was that just for the grease? Is that why we did that? Oops, a piece got in there. Oh, this is smelling so good, you guys. Like, look at, look how rich that looks. Oh, look at that. So rich. 
I mean, I make stew. I don't know. This one's looking good. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, now the thyme, which I didn't have, the bay leaves. Oh, God, it smells so good. I love bay leaves. Put the <laughs> lid on. One and a half hours and we'll come back. That is a hearty beef stew. I'm gonna add these um, these mushrooms whole. I'm just removing the stems like this because I don't like mushrooms. Ernie does. That way I can easily pick them out. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna add this bacon. It didn't say that I should, but I'm going to. And I'm going to add some more chicken stock. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more chicken broth. Just a little bit. Turn the heat up a little bit. Put the lid back on and let that, let that cook. I need to clean my mess up because we need to get the biscuits going. It says to preheat the oven to 350, so let's do that. Tell you what, I cannot wait until I have a regular sized kitchen again. <laughs> All right, in a medium bowl, it says mix together the flour and garlic powder. One. Two. Three. Says a half a teaspoon. I'm just gonna use my hands. Easy peasy. I can't believe I haven't been filming this. I'm dumb. I'm gonna put the recipe down below. I apologize for that. It was super simple, you guys. It was, I'm just making really quick dumplings. Um, next time I'll double the recipe, because this isn't gonna be enough. <laughs> I can tell you that. I actually will probably cut these in half. I think we're good. Now we're just going to place our dumplings on top, like that. Put the lid on and stick it in the oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Okay, let's give it the taste test. The meat's nice and tender. Oh yeah. Mm. This is a good stew. I've been making stew for years. This one is a keeper. It's good. Mm. So good. So the dumpling, I don't know if you can see that. Mm. That's good. That's a nice little texture that you don't typically. I'm hot. Oh my gosh, this is such a keeper, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me today. I hope that you guys enjoyed Feastful Friday. Let me know if you guys make this. I will make sure to put the recipe in the description down below. Let me know if you guys make this. If you do, I would love for you guys to come back and 
let me know in the comments how you thought it tasted. I think that it's delicious and it's definitely one for the books for us. So anyways, you guys have a fantastic weekend and we will see you on Monday. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,